Birds. No, not that. Yep, okay. Anyway, let's go over here. This was supposed to be the, um... Whoa! <laughs> the uh, magpie geese. The magical disappearing magpie be mag magpie geese. Alright. Hey everybody, welcome back to episode 7 of Zoo Tycoon. Over here, um, I think this, this little, um, gap area over here is what we're gonna be filling today. Trying to finish off every species in the game. So, um, I think let's start with the decoration. We haven't done too many of those. Um, let's go with the fountain. Mm, we haven't done any topiaries yet. I guess we'll go with that. Koala topiary? Why not? Guess that can go up against there. And that'll be a nice little start for this little section that we are doing. So, um, series is coming into an end. Make sure to subscribe and show support. So, um, I might do more Zoo Tycoon, but, um, obviously we're going to take a break and move on to some other stuff for a little bit very soon. So, watch out for that. And I want to see, is that, okay, that's everything. What about a fountain? Like, I don't want to put too much stuff together, but I haven't done many of that, many of those either. I guess let's just put a fountain or, uh, nope. I don't know. I want to find a place for a fountain just for the sake of it. Sure, just just cause. Just cause our zoo needs something a little extra. Why? There we go, that was weird. This doesn't really seem to be a fountain. It's just a pool with the statue. Alright, anyway, let's get back over to here. Back to the point of the video. Let's start with some mini exhibits. Arid pool. Um, how about we start with Bush Grove? Because I know there's a lot that has to be done. This one. This one's all done. That one's good. That one's good. All good. Not even close. And I know this one's all good. So we got Arid Pool, Bush Grove, and Tropical Tree. Let's start with a bunch of Bush Grove. I guess maybe we could put a variety over here instead of having just a giant section like we did over here. Just to add a little more. I don't know. Let's make it look better aesthetically. What? It let me do that before. Okay. Alright, game. Whatever. So we can put a quail, numbat, owl, possum, or a wombat. What kind of quails can we get? Okay, just that one. I guess let's go with as many quails as possible. Alright, three's the max. Oh, now that this path's gone, we might be able to Squeeze a couple more on in. Um, guess a tropical tree. I like this one. This might be one of my favorite mini exhibits. No? Why won't it fit there? I feel like it really should be able to fit there. Sure, why not? I guess we'll just go with this. Connect that as much as possible. Animals. Stop new animal. You got capuchins. <laughs> Plenty of those. We haven't done either of these. Really feel like we have macaws. Alright, let's have a bird area. Yeah, this will be the little bird area. We can get three different species just from this one. And we got quails over there already. So, I guess trumpeter birds. Why not? Can we put, like, can we put a macaw in here, too? Nope. It was worth a shot. 
Um, ooh, with the macaws, we should be able to put a bunch of different um, ones, and it'll look quite nice. So that was the quails. I don't think there's going to be any pool birds. Oh, geese. We can do geese. Nice, nice. And I believe if you look at the top there, we are level 40, and I'm pretty sure that's max level in this game. So we have unlocked everything you can by leveling up. Obviously, like there's different stuff you can unlock by doing challenge mode. And that kind of stuff. Magpie geese. What else do we... Oh, it won't let me look at what else we need in that <clears throat> specific mini exhibit. Bush... Did that have more birds? Owls. Owls, that was it. And then over here we had two more different species of birds. So I guess let's just knock owls out over in this area. For now, let's not connect it to those other mini exhibits because I want to, um, I want to try to squeeze another one over there. Then once we get all these birds, so we'll take a look at it. Top new animal owls. How many different? We got Australian mask owl. Carmen. I guess we'll go with a barn owl. Maybe a sooty owl. Oh, and that is actually going to be full. All right. Go over here to tropical tree. We should, yep, we can put one right there. That's great. Now we connect it to this one. Nope. Ah, uh, that does, I don't know. That does kind of separate it, which... That sucks, but whatever. We did fill... Yeah, we did fill the rest of these up, except this one. We have not filled that one up yet. I guess we'll go with cockatoos for this one we got. Alright. Gang, gang, cockatoo. Palm cockatoo. So for... I think that's the most common one, is that white one. I guess we'll go with the gang, gang, cockatoo. Go with this one. I guess we'll go with this gall. I don't know. Gala? Gala? The colorful one. Whatever. Okay. Oop. Went too far there. Place down another one of these exhibits. All right, once this loads in, there is so many different macaws. I think I'm going to get, like, I don't know, at least one of most of the common ones. Or at least, like, I don't know, the main ones. Because a lot of these two look exactly the same almost. These two look exactly the same. All right, and that is full. That should be all the birds. I wonder how close we are. All right. Anyway, let's let's look at these guys. Hey, everybody. Um, I was quickly just looking at the animal section of the um the little interface over here at the um main entrance, whatever this is, zoo overview, and we are very close in the animal section. It takes a while, so I'm not going to go through that. But five or six mini exhibits left, and then we're basically done. Anyway. Where are these quails? Okay, there's obviously one right there. Oh, they're all three right there. I don't know if they're not loading in, but it looks kind of weird. The shape doesn't... <laughs> I don't know. I don't think quails are supposed to look like that. Okay, continuing on. I think this is the trumpeter bird. Okay. I think that's both of them. Yeah, there's only two. Right? Yep. Only two. Then we'll go off 
to this individual exhibit because it didn't want to connect. And I believe this is the owls. Yeah. Man, I, I, the sizing doesn't seem right. I think the owls should be at least double that size. Anyway, let's just pop. This is the trumpeter birds. No, not that. Yep, okay. Anyway, let's go over here. This was supposed to be the, um... Whoa! <laughs> the uh, magpie geese. The magical disappearing magpie be mag magpie geese. Alright. Moving on, we have... Macaws, or is this cockatoos? This is the macaw enclosure. Scarlet macaw, blue macaw. I believe that one was like military macaw or something like that. Oh, all three of them are together. Whoa, I think that one knocked that one over. Okay, cockatoos will be our final enclosure we are viewing for now. Got a cockatoo all the way at the top. It's amazing how the birds are in one of these exhibits in this game, because in reality they would just fly off. Where'd they go? Or maybe they did fly off. Oh. There should be three of them in here. Which one's this one? Its head's not loading incorrectly. Did it, is the issue fixed now? I don't know, maybe it's head feathers just- Oh, there we go. I think that was the galah or something like that. It really seems to look like they just fly off. Anyway, let's just fix our camera. There we go. Is there anywhere- There's not really enough room to put mini enclosures in there. So I guess let's just keep expanding. Let's, let's expand over here, actually. Or is there, is this like a straight line or is there more? I guess we'll fill in right here. There's a little gap over here. All right, what else do we have left? Arid pool. Bush, yeah, bush grove. And this one should be finished off. No, we still had the um, snakes. I remember now. I'm excited for that. I might put more than one just because, I don't know, I like snakes. Animals. Top new animal. Snakes. Ooh. I might get so I I think I'm gonna make a little snake area. It's not needed. Or I'll just put Okay. So that'll be the That'll be big snakes. And this doesn't make sense. This is large snakes, but these two are huge. These these two are like some of the biggest snakes in the world. And then these are just kind of normal snakes. Can I actually put one in there? I can't. Okay. Um, I cannot do that. So. First I thought it was telling me I can. But I clearly cannot. Get the right angle there. That's amazing. Connect everything up nicely. Great, great, yep. And then, yeah, large snakes. And then slaw- Aww. <laughs> okay. Guess we'll get some of these guys. I find it odd how these dudes just teleport. Hmm. Maybe we should have done a snake area. But I don't know. They just don't seem that- They don't- like, I like snakes and everything, but they don't really stand out in this game. There's nothing really special about snakes in this game. So, I don't know. It might have been a bit pointless to dedicate, like, an area on them. Anyway, that's tropical tree finished. Once we fill this thing up with sloths. Is there a different species? It's probably just once. Nope. There is multiple species. I guess we'll go with the... Pale three-toed sloth. 
Southern Two Toads Law. It's amazing how they put five types of sloths in. Out of all the things they could have done. Alright. That's nice and filled up. Let's check this. Okay. Where? Oh. There's the yellow anaconda. Hi. Yeah, the snake. I don't know. The snake bottles just aren't too great in this game. Oh, I'm stuffy. Where? Oh, there is the reticulated python. Okay, that's the tail. Where's the head? Alright. Moving on. Don't want to spend too much time on one exhibit. These are the green tree boas. There should be one. Oh, I don't actually see it. Usually with the snakes, there's one up top and one slithering. Oh, there's one right there. And that's all I can see for now. Maybe I'll come back to it. And the slobs. Whoa, that's neat. Like it was like barely hanging on there. Do you actually have like, okay, that one has three toes. Is there actually one with two toes? Like did they put that much effort into it? Hello. No, they all have three toes. I mean, it doesn't really matter that much, but that's just that level of detail that would be nice to have in this game. Alright, everybody, I'm back. Um, I went ahead and finished off the mini exhibits by myself, because I didn't want to use up all the time on the video. And we're starting over here with the possums. Got two of them over here. Then... One right here. This is the possums, correct? View animals. Yep. Ringtail possum. That's it. Nice. It kind of looks like a little teddy bear. With a tail. The very bushy tail. Then this is the wombats. Yep. The Australian wombats. <laughs> yeah, this bush grove enclosure is kind of like the mini... Um, mini version of the uh, Outback enclosure because there's a lot of Australian animals in here. Anyway, numbats over here, also only in Australia. I think these guys are like burrower burrowers, and they're kind of like a mini ant eater. Then last one over here is a very popular one, also Australian. I don't know, I unintentionally had like a full, uh, oh, let's empty that, a full Australian row without even trying. The platypus, we only have, oh, we got two. So I'm going to end it off here with these amazing platypuses, so be sure to subscribe and like for more if you enjoyed. And this is one of the last episodes, as I've said in the other Episodes, as you can see, like this zoo is filled. Like, just the amount of mini enclosure in normal exhibits, especially. Oh, hunger. Hunger for fine. We got plenty of zookeepers. Um, and just because we had a lot of um, enclosures on large. So, um, we got, um, Bears and all the way over here, man. This is kind of painful. <laughs> Just kind of long it takes, and it has to load in. And then our hippos, and that is it for our zoo. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed, and um, be sure to tune into the next one. And I'll see you all later.